on your map I'm going to show you how to make a little corner ruler or a Romer scale and I'm going to take their kilometer scale and I'm just going to make my little tick marks on here to match theirs and I'm going to take maybe a little corner square I'm going to match that up again draw me some little tick marks to correspond with theirs and then in here I'm going to put uh, this happens to be two this happens to be four six eight and it's going to be one uh, kilometer, 1,000 meters, however you have to look at it. And I'm going to put some tick marks in between. And so that's going to be one. I hit three. It's going to be five. And that's going to be seven. And that one's going to be nine turn it up and do it the same way there actually gonna have a one here that's two put one in between there is three four five six put one in between seven eight one in between there will make it nine and one kilometer there or one thousand meters so there's your little Romer scale let's move back over to the map and where our red X was we find my Romer scale where we were looking at the um, top measurement there where we were on the 8 so that was 800 zero, zero. let's put a and this should get you pretty accurate you know if you didn't have one and we were going to put it in where a little uh, square was there and so that's going to put it on there it's going to be 800 zero, zero. so you can see it's pretty close to the same here the other one was at 2 point I think it was 60 and you can see you could make some other tick marks in between there and get you but that's going to be you could say that was 250 or 260 um, it looks closer you know look just off the middle so it would be 260 so that's just a rough down and dirty way you could use it as um, you know rumor scale if you needed to do that now let's look at how to set up the GPS um, the uh, Garmin 60 CSX GPS we're going to look at setting it up and you can see at the top there I've already um, got the location as the uh, UTM measurements and it's 17T that's um, 0457 and this is not going to correspond with the map that I have because it's different locations but that just gives you an idea of what it would look like you can see it's marked uh, with the UTM measurement and uh, the first number when you're looking down here at the bottom where it's got the uh, 444 your GPS is going to have a zero in front of that, no big deal, but it's just something to be aware of. And to set this up, what we're going to need to do is flip around to the page to where we come to the main menu. And we're going to go to setup. This is just for this particular GPS, but the e uh are about the same. I uh, helped somebody else set up one for theirs, and it's about the same. So now that we're in that setup menu, we're going to go down to um, Units. You can see I already have that set up as UTM. So if I press Enter, it will give you all these other options. And if we wanted to scroll up, you could see to where originally, you know, it'd be set up on the um, longitude latitude which would be right there if I wanted to set that up like that but like I said we'll go back and we'll look at the setup again go back to units where we were 
So you can see the uh, UTM UPS is what I have set up where it says position format. The next one's going to be map datum. That's going to be key. So remember our map was the um, NADA 83 and which is that's what I have this set on. So I'll just go to that, highlight it, and you can see there's just uh, a ton of them to choose from. But you do have to match that up. So to get back out of that, we're going to page. So you set those two things up there. We'll go back to setup. We're going to go down to heading. And you can see on the display, we're going to read in degrees. Your choices there are mills, which some of your compasses would read in mills or cardinal letters but we're setting on uh, degrees and that's where we're going to stay. Next one is north uh, reference. Uh, you could go magnetic. Uh, that's going to be key to your compass, but you can see down below that that we're reading eight degrees west. And remember, we talked about that before. Um, that will give you automatically give you your declination. But since we're going to be reading grids, we're going to change that over and we're not using our compass yet. But you just got to be aware that you might need to switch that back and forth. Okay. So I'm going to enter there, and you can see grid is what I'm going to need to set that on. And then we're all set up. And we just go back to our main menu, and it's going to give us that uh, UTM measurements, and that's something that we could set up, um, correspond with our map datum. And um, it's really not that bad to use at all. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some other things um, with the compass. Something I just wanted to point out with your compass, um, what you could do with the cordage that's attached there is what I've done is on the end there, I took a Sharpie and placed a little black mark on there. So what you could do with that, if you wanted to measure, we're going to look at right in here this road. And at the bend of the road, if I wanted to measure that around, I could take where my little black Sharpie mark is, start it right there follow that around just keep moving my thumb bend with the contour of that locking it down with my thumb now each time and just stretching that on out until I come to that grid line that's going to give me a distance and what I could do let me move this back over to the scale and I'm just going to go in mileage because it's the longer scale and I'm going to take where my black mark was put it right on zero and stretch it out here. So I'm really, I'm a little, I'm really close to, uh, you know, probably about um, seven tenths of a mile. And so going back over here, instead of following the contour of the road to that grid line, if I wanted to take a more direct path, I'll just do the same thing there. Take my Sharpie mark to where it's at the bend of the road, stretch it straight over to here to get a more direct. And I'm going to go back to my scale on my map. And I'm going to place that black Sharpie mark on the zero. And right there, and it looks like I'm five tenths of a mile. So that cut it almost in half. And so that's just a way, a quick down and dirty way you could use your, your compass string to uh, help you out in measuring the distance. So this way you could choose whether you wanted to, to follow the road there or if you want to save yourself a lot of time depending on, you know, your um, really your layout there. If you could make it through there, uh, you do have some pretty steep uh, little uh, hills there to go through but it would save you it might save you a lot of time but that's something you could weigh out but I, that's just a quick down and dirty way to measure that if you wanted to do that so i thought i'd point that out okay this is going to wrap up my tutorial on this uh, utm measurement uh, coordinate system uh, helping you read that and setting up your gps along with using your compass a bit on that and this is really tough to explain i hope this comes across on uh, the video okay but what you'll want to do is um, really practice with, get, get you a map that's uh, close to your home, an area that you're familiar with, 
and that way you practice this again and again and again until you feel like you've really mastered this before you go out on a remote location somewhere and find out that uh, you're lost. But uh, a couple things I want to mention also is um, this map, like I said, it was set up on a 1 in 24,000 scale, which I highly recommend because it makes everything uh, more visible to you. It's not on such a small scale that you can't read it. And it's set up on seven and a half minutes on the on the grid. You can get these at uh, mytopo.com is where I usually get them. And you can customize it any way you want. They're really quick on delivery. They can waterproof the maps, anything you want. But what I do on that also is I'll take, like, I'll get my maps in a 24 by 36 or 18 by 24 measurement. And I'll take them on a Xerox machine and copy them down to 11 by 17 and makes it more manageable. And that way, I'm not afraid to ride on these. I can take them with me. Um, they're expendable. So I always have my other maps in really good shape. And something else you can do with Xerox and a copy is you can take and mark off your route. And uh, that way you leave it at home should you not come back uh, in the time slot that you were supposed to come back in. Somebody knows where you were in the general area that you were in. So that's just a few little tips. I hope it helps out. And as always, thanks for watching.